Hey, Bay Harbor. You know we've been talking about life groups a whole lot lately, and uh, I want to show you a video of a great life group that's going on at Bay Harbor. So we have been looking for a church home for a long time. Um, and I feel incredibly fortunate that we found this life group and that we're a part of it now because we have developed some relationships. So now when we go to church, it's not only a place that we go to worship, but it also feels more like, um, like a church home, like a church, like a family. This has been a wonderful, this life group has been a wonderful vehicle um, to get us there. All right, we are at our um, Bay Harbor Life Group. Um, we call this one for, for families. Most of us are about the same age, have kids about the same age, and kind of just at the same stage of life. So it's good to, to come together, talk about kind of our weeks, share ups, share downs. And I think this, this small group has become a, a good group of friends within a, a really short amount of time, and I really like that. So you guys, that was uh, the life group that my husband Blake and I hosted our house on Friday nights. And uh, Eric and Amanda Anderson helped us launch this life group. And in a matter of a few weeks, we became such a bonded group of people and it has been absolutely amazing. Um, the video you saw was actually the last life group that we had before the quarantine started. And um, I can tell you, it's been so amazing to have a group of people that immediately reached out to each other when all of this unknown and craziness started happening. And I really don't know what I would do without the people in our life group. Um, we've got people sending text messages with pictures of soap detergent for their dishwasher saying, I bought an extra one of these. Are you okay? I know you were out of the country last week. Do you need this? Uh, we're running different things around to houses as we all get out. I need a bag of corn if you can find it or a, a can of beans if you can find it. So we're all doing those types of things so that we can stay together. And I highly encourage your small group to find a way to stay connected through all of this. Ours has set up a group me account and we uh, just before I filmed this, we were sending pictures of what the kids were doing and um, just having a lot of fun. And you know, as usual, the Thibodeaux are over there boiling crawfish on their back porch and all of us want to be over there eating it. And so uh, we're just looking forward to being back together. But if you can't be together um, as your whole group, see if there's a way that you can get maybe just two families together or whatever you can do in this time. Uh, we're actually looking at doing a Zoom meeting where all the kiddos can talk to each other uh, as our life group is based around families. But start the group me account or do something to stay connected. And this is actually a great time where if you know some people in Bay Harbor, start a virtual life group. This is the greatest time to start it. There's nothing scary about jumping online and meeting with people face-to-face -face over technology. That way you're not going to someone's house that you don't know or a restaurant and meeting someone that you don't know for the first time. Just jump online and start something. And if there's anything that uh, the Friday Night Family Life Group can do to help you guys with that, I know all of our group would be happy to do so. Just send a message to the church and we'll definitely uh, get you going. Thanks so much.